The mountain pygmy possum is one of Australia's rarest marsupials. And when it comes to population growth and genetic diversity, their isolated alpine habitat does this endangered species no favours. With fewer than 30 possums left in the Mount Buller population alone, this species is facing a very uncertain future. But a translocation strategy led by a team of researchers at the University of Melbourne and the Department of Sustainability and Environment has brought new hope to this rapidly declining species. The problem is that it's restricted to the alpine or subalpine zone and this in itself presents a unique problem because in Australia we have very few alpine areas. Um, so these populations are threatened annually with uh, factors such as climate change and warming temperatures. Uh, they hibernate under a cover of snow and unfortunately in the southern area, which is the Mount Buller population, uh, we've seen a drastic drop in numbers over the last 10 to 15 years, uh, which has seen the population go from about 300 down to 30 individuals. What we've also seen is a very drastic decline in the genetic variation that's present in that population. Uh, it's crashed at comparable levels uh, so that there's only about 20% of the variation variation, uh, genetic variation in that population that was found uh, back in 1996. Now what that means is that that species is a lot more prone to um, you know, other factors such as climate change, uh, changing environment, um, also uh, disease, um, pathogens and these sort of things. So we need to fix the genetics of that population for, to give it the best chance going into the future. The best way to do that is to take some genetics from a healthy population uh, and put it into the Mount Buller population. Now the population that we chose to move animals from uh, was on Mount Hotham um, because that is a very healthy population that has over a thousand individuals within that population. We radio tracked them and we collected the hair samples and then after radio tracking them we knew that they'd successfully settled in and in November we went back collected hair samples and we're just looking at the success of whether um, we did manage to get a crossbred Hotham Buller Young out in the field. The result was a success with the discovery of the first wild-born male pygmy possum with genetic features from both populations. In January we were able to capture nine juvenile individuals uh, on Mount Buller. Um, we brought hair samples of those back to the lab and uh, essentially put them into to little tubes and we use these tubes um, to extract DNA from the hair samples. And what we uncovered was that one individual was a hybrid from Mount Buller uh, and Mount Hotham. And that's you know, exceptionally great for the program. That, that means that we can undertake these translocations in the wild uh, and it's likely that they're going to be successful into the future, which gives us great hope of essentially genetically rescuing that population and restoring it to its, its former health. The team are hoping the translocation strategy will improve the genetic diversity enough to sustain the population until a captive breeding program can reintroduce more animals. Our hope is that we can restore that population to, um, you know, to the genetic diversity levels that it had about 20 or 30 years ago um, before it's, you know, the population crashed on the mountain um, so that it has the opportunity to survive going into the future.